Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to Season 4 of the 100 Day Challenge, starring Windy, the Bereaved. So, last episode, we accomplished all of our goals, and uh, this time, we're gonna jump right into it and begin with the discussion, try to keep it a shorter episode. So, we're working on getting our grass, and we remembered we need to get six flowers. So, these flowers are gonna let us make a tropical parasol. It's only gonna last two days. But, uh, it's not raining right now, and it will be raining in the future. Uh, picking the flowers here is better than on our island. And, uh, we can definitely take off our top hat while we're picking flowers. Uh, not that saving our top hat really does anything for us. Uh, we will be picking up these sweet potatoes, quite a few of them. Just bring them home, pop them in the fridge. Those will be our delicious filler. And, yeah, we'll just finish up these three right here. Just auto-pick, just hold space, and we should get all of them. Yeah, there we go. Very, very easy. So, last episode we were talking about opportunity cost, how you're giving up something to do something else. Now, in Don't Starve, there's no time limits, so you're never truly giving up something. But the thing to remember, for our 100-day challenge in particular, is we do have a time limit. But there's also the idea, like, seasons end. So we're just giving up time. Like, there will be another season in the future. We'll have one more mild season. We'll have another hurricane season partially. And yeah, look at that, we're already up to 80 grass. So we'll just keep going today, we are good. If we have to, we can eat these delicious sweet potatoes as they are. Oh, that's not a problem. We'll probably end up picking through the night. And we decided not to dig up any. So in Don't Starve, the main thing you're sacrificing is what you have at a given time. So right now we're picking grass, we could be at home chopping wood, which is important. Uh, now, we already decided that we are going to explore during the uh, monsoon season. We're not going to sit at our base. We're not going to tile it up. Like, we're not doing that this time around. We did that last season. We ended up exploring very little of the map. And I think that you guys might enjoy us going out and exploring more. Like, we've proven we can sit there and play super, super safe on our favorite character that we have the most experience with. Now, let's take this character we don't have and not play dangerously. We're not living living dangerously, but do a little bit more. Get out there. Like, we want to find these cool things. And on Maxwell, we did stumble on a lot of really nice things, but it was generally towards the end. It was like second mild season. We went and found the, uh, what's it called? The slot machine, finally. And did we find the volcano? If we found the volcano, it was too late. We really want to find the volcano in this season before... Uh, the dry season like we want to be able to try to do the sacrifice. We want to be able to get coffee Like that would be something really cool to do in the hundred day challenge. Uh, we're up to 12 of these sweet potatoes I think we might leave the rest of these because we're probably gonna have another day where we come and pick these and actually we're gonna be up to 120 we don't need to spend the night here Hmm. Oh, we could just keep going I think we're gonna go like, we have enough food, we should be able to last the night. If not, we can eat our sweet potatoes. And we're going to get up to, like, 160 of these. Right? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah. That's going to that's gonna give us a lot of grass for a long time. Uh, now, we're always going to need grass. And we're always going to try to explore in a circle around our base. That way, we can always come back. So, this way, we'll just, we'll just have it. We'll have it on us when we need it. And this kind of idea of doing things in bulk, like right now it is faster for me to get 160 grass than if in the future I just go and collect it as I need it on a uh, as needed basis. But I'm giving up doing other things on the as needed basis now. Like right now I have no extra wood, I have no extra bamboo, I have no extra vines, no snake skin, nothing like that. So I'm giving up what I have right now to do this a little bit more efficiently like we could just be done but we're already here we're gonna get a lot of this grass oh my goodness there's so much so yeah we're just gonna keep doing grass yeah and uh, I think we are gonna have to eat so we will pick some more of these sweet potatoes and just eat them as they are uh, they will be our filler for the next while and we'll pop them in the fridge once we get home but we're gonna need a few Ooh, how are we gonna do that um, hmm, we're gonna need space. I can put something in my hand. We'll just carry around our machete. 
And of course we can't carry around our shetty when we have our <laughs> torch out. So that's kind of a moot point, but we'll put our torch in one slot. We already have one torch. We'll get a second torch in here just to be safe. We'll put this on slot one so we can just press the one key to equip it later. We're definitely going to have to eat, so let's just go ahead and eat a couple. And we'll put on our torch. Uh, we're not going to try to be super efficient in saving the torch. Like, that's not our concern right now. And we're just going to pick all this grass until day breaks. Uh, this is super compelling gameplay, I'm sure. But uh, it is something you need to do in Don't Starve. Like, we can take our time very efficiently right now. And... Yeah, that's basically it. It's really efficient to get grass in bulk. It's really efficient to get twigs in bulk. This is why you create farms. And then you don't have to worry about ever collecting it when you need it. Now, I think we're going to need at least one more torch once one of these burns out. Which, uh, this one's going. But I don't know if we're going to need a second new one. And, uh, so while we were doing this, we left some of the darkness unexplored. That way I know where we can definitely get new grass. We don't have to worry about retreading where we were, because we don't have a lot of vision. And if we run to the right, you'll see, like, we already collected a lot of grass. But as we run down here towards new uh, areas, definitely haven't collected the grass. And we, we're going to have a lot of grass. We should, we should open up a shop, you know, move over to Canada, where I believe that's legal. And uh, we'll be quite the wealthy Windy. Quite the wealthy Windy, indeed. Uh, we are full of emptiness. But that is okay. Once we get home, we're going to be full of fullness. And I assume that's the way that expression works. In reverse. And we can pick more of these sweet potatoes. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. It's right there. Why not? Uh, we're going to need another torch guaranteed. So let's craft that up. It'll take up our slot, but we still have time before we fill this one. And we are so wealthy on grass and so unorganized right now. This is terrible. Uh, I have been informed that there's a sort inventory mod, so maybe next season we'll, uh, we'll bust that out and uh, try to be super organized at all times. Uh, I don't know if you can control how it sorts or if it just has a particular way of doing it that you have to get used to or, you know, just not use it. But uh, it would be helpful. Like, I really like to keep, uh, my armors, like, closer to my armor slots and my uh, tools over to the left, that kind of thing. But sometimes you just get uh, tired, tired of sorting, and uh, you just l embrace the chaos. And here we go, that is so much, so much grass. Uh, let's put the grass together and see what we have exactly. Just those four? No, this one too, of course. Boom, so that's 200 grass, right? Yeah. Alright, and this is enough. This torch should last the night. We'll head towards our boat, and we're going to head home. This was a very, uh, very eventful first episode, but uh, I hope you had fun, <laughs> or first day of the episode, sorry. I hope you somewhat enjoyed watching the, uh, oh, light, we can make a boat torch, right? Yeah, okay. We'll turn the small torch into that, be a little bit more uh, savvy when it comes to using our supplies, rather than letting it just burn out. So we're going to run home really quick. Ooh, we have, um... We haven't actually fully explored everything, so there could be like a trait, there could be a, what's it called, a little box in here, or who knows what. The volcano! Ho ho ho! Uh, we could try to fight a whale. Nope, I haven't fought a whale in a long time. We could do this. Like, it's not raining right now. Investigate the suspicious bubbles. Hurry up. Bubbles, lead me. This is a terrible episode of Powerpuff Girls. Oh, if we had our map cleared off, we could probably see... Oh, we have even more bioluminescence out here. Now, this is something we wouldn't know uh, without our little extra icons. Where are the bubbles going? Whoops, down here. Uh, we can zoom these out. This actually helps you track... Is that a... <gasps> no, that wasn't a swordfish. It was just a normal fish. Okay. <laughs> I thought we had a swordfish, like, next to our base. I was really happy about that. But, uh, it's just... Ooh, stay away from me, stinky rays. Stay away from Abigail. Oh, stay away from everyone. Stay away from everyone. Whoa, there are so many of you guys. Get, oh, just dodge the stuff. Oh, this is terrible, terrible positioning. Oh, now we're going really fast, though. 
I will find you, beast. Oh, no, it reset. I was too slow. Oh, that sucks. Uh, it's down here again. Uh, we're just going to go home and eat. No, don't poison me. Oh, okay, they're just mad at Abigail. That's fine. They can't even hurt her. Uh, we have tons of filler, but we'll grab this anyways. We have tons of meat, too. We have, we have so much stuff to survive. We could just sit here on our island and do nothing. Uh, we don't have to go out and explore. We're choosing to do so because we want to find cooler things. We definitely want to get coffee. Coffee is just so nice. It's so nice to have that. Like, it even makes exploring better. If you get really lucky and find the volcano during, like, mild season or something, that's probably going to be an insanely good playthrough. Like, really, really fun to do and really, really easy to do. Because, like, you're going to be moving 83% faster. Like, it's pretty crazy. Alright, we are finally home. Now, let's eat up one of these. Our odd number. Our lucky 13th one. Let's eat it up. Throw in our food, throw in our honey, throw in our flowers that we don't need quite yet. We will need them soon, I do believe, that uh, the rain is coming. So we use sweet potatoes, we're not going to get any more of those. We might freshen up our seaweed, we might freshen up our bananas. And these guys we don't really need. And uh, what are we doing to use our time right now? Well, we're going to put this on and we're going to get bamboo while we're cooking up the stuff. And uh, it's time to be efficient. We need to get these into a chest, of course. Uh, we can do that during the dark, so we're probably just going to sit near our fire for the nights. We don't want to lose too much sanity. Ooh, we're losing sanity. <laughs> Oops. I noticed that. Okay. Let's grab this up. Eat it. Delicious. And then we will uh, start cooking up some more. So put this in here. More of these. There we go. This is going to be our... Let's see. This is where we're going to put our grass. All right. And we want one, one stack of grass on us at all times. Same with twigs. Those are really important resources. And our logs... Now, I wish we had, um, I wish we had pigs somewhere in the world that we could go to. Like, I would really like a piggyback. Piggyback is waterproof, so everything you have in it, like your fuel for fires, will not get wet. Now, a way to get around your fuel getting wet is you can make up this item we're going to make right now. You need a rope. Come over here to survival. Craft your straw roll, and that will give you fire for, like, the whole night. It's very, very strong fuel. But we also want to craft up a boat repair kit. Have we made one in the past? I think we have. So we might not need to prototype it, which means we don't need to do it right now. Uh, we have not, so we will make it where is it? right there. So our two boards, two ropes, and we can, we can make more of these. We're going to need them. And this gets rid of all our sweet potatoes perfectly. Right. So two boards. One and two. And then two ropes. One and two. Excellent. And now we have a boat repair kit fashioned up, and we have tons of these stingers that we can make. So our, we can get our cargo boat back up and running. Um, put these in here because we're nice and full. And it's about to be dark. Let's just drop these on the chimney. Boom, look at that huge fire. While it's really, really big, let's fight the wind and get over here to this bamboo and chop it down before it gets too dark. Oh, we can get to the other bamboo if we're quick. Let's just walk up here. Uh, we don't need bamboo in particular right now, but it's always nice to have. Uh, can we chop this one? Oh, it's lightning. And our lightning rod's fairly close. Hopefully the world doesn't set on fire. Man, lightning really is scaring me after that. It's like once burned, twice shy situation going on. Uh -huh. Alright, we... We have most of this. Let's, we still have our axe on us, so let's just chop down trees while we're here. And uh, we will be watching for snakes. Snakes can always spawn. So you just gotta be careful. Watch it. Snakes! No snakes, okay. So we're okay. Uh, it is lightning, so I don't think Charlie can actually kill us. Uh, it's is a pretty bad lightning storm, so it'll just lightning before she can attack. And then that resets the attack timer. So we could just go out and do whatever we want, but we don't want to lose a ton of sanity just working in the darkness. Alright, no snake. We'll just get more wood. This will also give us some food. Like, jungle trees are really, really good. Uh, like, they kind of make shipwrecks too easy. I'm a little disappointed there's not, like, a jungle tree god or something that can punish you for chopping a ton of trees really efficiently. But right now, there's very little risk. Like, worst case scenario... A snake spawns out of the tree. And if you're just always aware that a snake can spawn, 
than a snake is just like free meat from a tree. That's pretty dumb that just chopping trees you can get the materials to make meatballs. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna judge. I'm gonna I'm gonna use what is here to get strong. Uh, we're losing a lot. We're actually out in the dark right now. But uh, we will regenerate sanity. We have tons of uh, tons and tons of these. Uh, there was no snake in that, luckily. There was a snake egg, though. And uh, we got some hail. You know what? Let's just grab hail. Let's, let's do this with our time. This is a fun use of time. And uh, it won't last very long, so we're just going to use it as filler now. Uh, I know it lasts indefinitely in the icebox, but during monsoon season, it's going to flood. Icebox is going to shut down and only be in the chest. And then the ice will melt in it before the dry season. Uh, we could try to use our gold to go ahead and prototype a flingomatic. But a uh, flingomatic's not super, super useful in uh, the same way it is for Reign of Giants when you have random fires. Any more? Oh, here's a couple more. Come up here, grab these. We'll get up to 24, and that'll be enough for now. Great use of our time. It's almost daytime, finally. And we have to decide where we're gonna go. Ooh. You know what? Just throw this away. Just blow away with the wind. You're dust in the wind now. Let's refine ice. There we go. Go ahead and refine these up. And then we gotta figure out what are we gonna do today. We've accomplished a lot of our goals. What we need is a plan. We need a plan. We can uh, freshen up that and... Ooh, we don't have any room for our eggs either. Oh, but we can stack these. Uh, that makes that pile a little less fresh, but it's okay, I believe. Uh, we can almost eat one of these, so let's go ahead and bring it with us. And we'll just eat it as soon as we get a little little tickle in our belly. Uh, we see, like, right now in the lightning storm, we don't want to go near any resources that are flammable. So we could come out here and farm up these uh, berries. But then the berries will set on fire. Now something we want to do when it's done lightning is come down here and get these uh, reeds. Because we're, we're going to want a lot of paper. Uh, right now we have honey, so we could make honey poultices, which would be pretty, pretty sweet. And we could also work on making a cage. A cage is going to let us turn our obscene amount of monster meat into eggs. And then eggs plus monster meat is meatballs or bacon and eggs if we get another source of real meat, like a pig. Or, you know, these dogfish out here, I believe, are also meat. So we can't really do anything useful. Let's just work on making our base a little prettier. We don't we don't want this rock right here, right next to our base. That's a terrible place for a rock. And it perfectly got rid of our pickaxe. What? That's pretty awesome. Now, let's see. We can make more chests, try to get these even more efficient. Right, we, right, right now we got our rocks and grass in the same chest. So let's make up a new chest right now. Like we're doing this live organization. Yeah, I know that's what you like. All right, so we're gonna make another chest. This is gonna be our rock chest. Honestly, our rock chest is gonna go right here. Boom. All right, so in our rock chest, we're gonna put up this nitrates, and we're gonna move all of our rocks. Let's go one, two. Move those over. Boom. And now we have our rock chest. Amazing. Amazing. All right, and then we have our bamboo in this one. Yeah, that'll be our green chest right now. We got some rot in there, too. Uh, this one's just kind of an assortment of things. Ugh. We will work on improving these. Oh, that's something I was doing. Here, I'll take these. Let's see, let's take five of these. And let's pick up these rocks. And we can stand under our shade. That way we don't get too wet. We can uh, cook up more of our healing cells. Oh, we didn't actually. Oh, we're just under the shade. We're not trying to get the alchemy in this should be exactly enough for uh, five of these, plus, you know, the extra rocks we picked up. And that's not our rock chest. That's our rock chest. Boom. Amazing. And you know what? We're going to do something that I used to do in uh, Reign of Giants all the time, and I love doing in um, Don't Starve Together when I'm playing with friends. So this is going to be my rock chest. So behind the rock chest, I'm going to put this pickaxe. That reminds me, that's where things you pick go. Now, I know that is an absolute race waste of resources. That's a perfectly good pickaxe. We could use that right now to go pick up things. But, uh, yeah. That's just how we do it. That's how we do it in my house. Uh, we like things to be organized like that. It's a nice little marker. You can actually put it right in front of the chest, which is how I do it in uh, DST. But uh, behind it is how I like doing it in single player, because it's, it's you know, quick. Oh, okay, it's right there. 
And I don't accidentally pick it up trying to open the chest. Uh, we don't need any of this ice, and yet we're grabbing it anyways. Uh, mainly because we don't know what we're doing. Uh, this is what happens when you don't come in with a plan. And to survive 100 days, you want to have plans, unless you're just really, really good, which I am not. Let's eat these. Oh, no, no. Everything planned on this channel. So we're just working on wood. Uh, wood is also a resource we really want, and it gives us other resources while we do it. We get more food. More food. More food. More food. No, we get more food. Uh, getting wood will let us make boat repair kits, because now we have grass, we have stingers, we need a lot of wood to make boat repair kits. Which will let us do a lot more of our exploring in the monsoon season. Now, we need to prepare for the monsoon season. In some way, shape, or form. We have our flowers in the fridge, we're gonna make our suit... Ooh, that's probably just gonna go bad before then. Oh, let's pick up this lovely egg that's probably fresh! Amazing! Amazing! Alright, and we have... Oh, we didn't eat our meatballs. What? I must have canceled the animation. Alright, so we're gonna get over here, and let's get these over here. Because our inventory right now is wet. Where is our axe? It's not in our hand. There it is. See, this is why I want something to organize our inventory. I think we're gonna do that for next season if we can find the mod. Uh, you know, feel free to leave a link to it down below if you wanna help me out. Why did it get suddenly so bright? What? The heck? I have no idea. But yeah, you know, let me know down below if you know the mod I'm talking about. One of my friends was telling me it was something I could use if I was having trouble keeping things organized while playing. And uh, he's been helping out a lot. But uh, yeah, uh, we will look for it for next season. I don't want to change mods in the middle of a season. That seems, uh, I don't know, that seems kind of low production quality. Why is it so bright all of a sudden? This is really weird, guys. I'm starting to freak out. And we haven't had a snake in a long time. Now, we don't need a snake. We still have, like, 20 monster meat, and we have the ability to get more monster meat. Let's make up a rope. And make our straw roll. Now, we're not going to sleep during the night. It is a wonderfully productive night. We're going to pop this on here. Boom. And we get an insane amount of vision. Uh, we're going to make more boat repair kits and just put them in our boat. Actually, I really want to empty out our boat. Now, we're, gonna, we're still watching for snakes. Like, we're not giving up on that. We're not having that happen again. Uh, if it does, we have several venom glands, which we can use to detox if we need, as well as healing up. Uh, do we have healing salves in a chest? Do I have any of these stocked up? No, I used them after the fire. The great fire, I remember. And, uh, you know, for every venom gland, every spider gland we get, we can make a healing salve now. Because we have so much grass, we can just... Where's our grass? Our grass is here. We can just burn the grass as soon as we need it. Because we're already, like, pretty low on this stack. Uh, we do need to plant more trees soon. Let's look down here at our sticks. They may have grown by now. And, ooh, we got to craft this uh, ice up, too. So let's refine this ice while we're here. Why not? As you can see, the straw roll gives us, like, the max uh, power fire. And it lasts pretty much the entire night. We could chop down these smaller trees, just move them out. Because we do want our trees farther away than this. But, uh, I kind of want to wait until they're bigger. But there's nothing else we can do right now. Uh, we can stock this up. Uh, we're going to need to eat these meatballs soon. Let's work on our boat repair kits. Let's go ahead and make up two more. So we'll make these boards. And these two ropes. And that will let us make another boat repair kit that we can just slap on our boat, throw that over here, be a little organized. And uh, we are approaching the end of this episode. Is there anything we can do that's interesting? Oh, can we make another chimney? No, we already have one prototyped. We can all we have enough to make another one, but uh, we don't know where we want this. Uh, like I could put it down here, and we could just make like a battlefront. <laughs> Battlefront Total War. But, uh, I don't know. We definitely want to repair our boat. That's something we're gonna do. We used our torch previously. Let's, let's just go repair our boat while we're thinking about it. We're gonna use this night as best we can. Uh, this torch will probably last us the rest of the night, so we can do whatever we want with this. And can I just heal the boat without getting on it? Repair. Boom. Boom. That should put us at, what, 280? 270? 270. Boom. Put these on the boat. 
We can take off the bottle and we'll take one spear gun off. We don't want to carry on too many spear guns. Uh, spear guns are good for killing uh, dogfish. And dogfish are great for making... What's it called? The delicious surf and turf. That's it. Surf and turf. Now our sand is in this one. So that's where we're going to put our bottle. And we're going to take our torch off. And guys, we have used this day as efficiently as we could. We're going to call an episode here. And we're going to work up on a plan. We're coming near the end of hurricane season. So we're going to stay near our base. We have to be ready for Seal NATO, who will come and try to wreck our face. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty prepared. We have our log suit, which I wish we could make a helmet. But we haven't found any pigs. We haven't found a touchstone. We're in a pretty bad place there. But at least we've got the log suit. And we have the Cutlass Supreme, which deals an insane amount of damage to seal nato in fact i believe the bonus damage that it deals to seal nato is not affected by windy's 25 percent reduced damage i believe it's just added on top but uh i will have to look that up we should see the seal nato in one of these next two episodes so hopefully you'll see three episodes when this episode is up and uh you'll know we survived otherwise gg but uh, we're going to work on making our base really nice and organized. Uh, next time we start, we're definitely going to plant some trees. And we have so many, so many of these stingers. Abigail is just ridiculous at these things. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Let's go to Samaras.